Hello and welcome back to the channel. So, obviously, I haven't been doing many food reviews lately, but there's been some requests to review this particular product, and um, obviously, people want more of that sort of stuff. So what I've done is, I was doing the Forex videos previously, I've moved those over to their own channel, and I'm probably going to get back into doing a few more vegan food reviews, because obviously that's what people on my channel want. So I'm going to be doing those if I can find some interesting products. Make sure you leave in the description any interesting products you know of, because that'll make it easy for me to do more videos. But today we're going to be looking at this one. So, look on here. You can see those. Dairy-free Magnums. So, of course, I think these have been available in the UK since last year. I'm, I think so, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they have. But they just came out in Australia last week, I think. So, people wanted me to try them. So I picked up the uh, just the classic flavor, just so we can get an idea of what it sort of tastes like. So, looking at the ingredients, <clears throat> water and sugar are the main components of it. And it looks like there's coconut oil, but there's no coconut milk in there. So that's a key thing to look at. You see, vegan ice cream is done in two predominant ways. One of them is with coconut cream, which obviously, instead of milk. But the other way is actually with sugar. So sugar actually makes ice cream, you know, makes it nice and soft. Uh, quite literally, if you mix sugar and water, you can pretty much make ice cream. Which sounds weird, but that's actually how it works. That's what they've done here. I mean, this could be quite sweet. 27.6 grams per 100 grams, so it's 30% sugar, which is about the same as a lot of other magnums and whatnot, so it depends, but I don't know if this is gonna be more sweet because it doesn't have other stuff in it. But they've got some pea protein in there, um, some vegetable oil, basic, basic sort of stuff, I suppose. 100% cocoa, uh, cacao components from Rainforest to Land Certified Farms, I uh, suppose, I mean, it should be. Um, certified vegan, so let's open this up. Three in a box, just three, yet they charge the same as they charge for four. Which is weird because the ingredients theoretically should be cheaper because it's got the same ingredients as a regular Magnum but without the dairy milk. So it should be cheaper, which means they're just charging a premium just because they can charge a premium. That's how it is. Got the pack there. Uh, looks reasonable. It's got an interesting sort of a uh, color scheme. You know, the uh, it's got a nice forest green and gold. Hard to find matching stuff for me for that, so I just put something together. Kind of weird, but anyway, matches all right. But let's get straight into this, obviously. Notice the sort of chocolate smell when you go into it. I feel like I can smell the pea protein, but maybe that's because I know what's in it, or I can actually smell it. It smells like chocolate and pea protein mixed together. Anyway, looks all right. That's so, uh, it's quite sweet. It's very sweet actually. I wonder if, what that is doing that. Let's see. Well, sugar, glucose, and fructose syrup, and glucose syrup. Like four types of sugar in there. Okay. It's obviously it is a sugar, it's not any other additives. It's too sweet. Well, it doesn't have any flavour in I thought it was vanilla, but it's it's nothing. That's a that's a pretty crap job to be honest. It just has no flavour. Okay. Think of a really bad, like a really cheap vanilla ice cream and cross that 
with a really cheap honeycomb ice cream because it's got that six that sickly sort of sweetness that you get from honeycomb with that sort of burning sort of aftertaste because honeycomb's obviously a lot of sugar and it's got a terrible vanilla flavor because it should be vanilla but it's not vanilla it's a nothing flavor what they're saying with this product is we made a vegan ice cream that's all they're saying <laughs> there's nothing else they're saying that this doesn't taste nice it just burns it's just a burning sort of sugar sort of flavor The chocolate's within reason, I think. The chocolate tastes a little oily, but it's not necessarily super sweet. It's the ice cream that's doing it. But like I said, really cheap vanilla mixed with really cheap honeycomb, and you've got an expensive vegan magnum ice cream. So I suppose you could commend them that they made a vegan product, but you shouldn't be doing that because you end up with crap like this. This, this isn't good. Uh, it's like $10 for three, so it's not really worth the money if you're looking at it from a, that perspective. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about this. This, this is not good. However, they do have an almond flavored one. And I would consider that the almonds, well, so they got some almond flavored, it's almonds on the outside. I would consider that those would cut through the sugar a bit. So I pick one of those up and I try it in the next review and I'll see how it compares. But as far as this goes, that's not worth buying unless you must have one of these ice creams and you want it vegan. But to be honest, I would much strongly suggest getting a vegan tub and just eating that because this is, I don't know. Hmm. Well, well I wasn't expecting, well, I don't know if I was expecting it. I thought it would be good, but it's not good. So I'll leave it at that. So thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to see some vegan food reviews, leave in the comments new products you want me to look at. Uh, like I said, I've moved the Forex videos I was doing to a completely new channel. So this will just be mostly vegan food reviews, you know, these sort of videos I was already doing. So I'll keep those up and I'll keep them coming. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.